Hey everyone, we are checking out this question from the specimen paper and we're going to break it down and see what you've got to do to answer it. So I've written out the question here for you to have a little bit of a look at. Okay, so when you get your pen, you should be highlighting the important words in that question. So we've got, it's been asked for material factors and how do they affect social class differences in achievements and we're going to be really explicit in what that we're doing here okay so you only need to think of two so i've chosen two here for us to look at okay so let's have a look at housing okay so that's one material factor because you're looking for two and we're going to have a little bit of a look at resources okay so we've got two material factors and they will get you one mark each OK, and then once you've done that, you then need to say, how is it affecting class differences in achievement? So I want you to be very specific to the class and also indicate what's happening to their achievement. OK, so let's say working class live in poor housing because it might be damp or overcrowded. OK, so, for example, if we take the damp bit, that might mean that you are more likely to be susceptible to illnesses and that might mean then you are more likely to get ill. So if you are getting more ill, that leads to more absences from school. And as a result, you miss content and then you underachieve. OK, so we've talked about working class and we've explained how that housing has led to this class differences in achievement. OK, causing underachievement. A second one might be resources. Now, you could go the other way with this because you could say that middle class have access to a lot of resources. And it's a really good idea to explain what these resources might be. So, for example, it might be um, tuition revision guides you know those things that you've got to buy okay it could even be like things like visited um, like museums or um, having access to a tutor um, for example and all these give an educational advantage okay so by saying something like an advantage will raise um, achievement levels okay so what we've done there just to summarize you have got two material factors housing and resources that gets you one mark and then you get one mark for each of the explanations and making sure that you're making it clear that you're talking about class so we've got working class or middle class and then you have got the indication to achievement whether it's passing or failing and there's the mark scheme if you want it. Okay, thanks for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.